So I've got my uh, ladder roughed out, just uh, very rough, rough peeling, and I've got the measurements all down. Uh, these are going to be my ladder rungs, and I'm going to mark and drill the holes now in my uprights for the rungs. So I'll get that done now, then we'll get everything dry fit. Like a glove. So now that I've got the holes drilled here, just gonna do some some rough sanding. Rough sanding. A little palm sander. Oops. Done the rough sanding for now. So now that everything is uh, got a rough sanding, I'm going to uh, dry fit these and see uh, what which ones need to be trimmed up or if any need to be trimmed up or anything. And uh, once we get a, once I'm satisfied with the dry fit, I'll take it apart, and then then we'll glue it and nail it, and uh, I'll let it dry overnight, and then I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll do the final sanding. Then we'll bring it to the cabin, get it put in place for the loft. This one's going to be a little short. Maybe.
something heavier. So obviously the reason why, why I do a final sanding after everything is done and put together and, and in its final position is because like a lot of the times I do have to be banging on these things to get them to fit. These are a tight, a tight fit. I did sand them a little bit, but I think that'll be fine. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll take it apart again. I'll mark where everything's going to go because everything is everything looks fine from here and uh, I'll glue them nail in through here and from the back from the back I'll nail in through here too just so in case these uh, shrink up over time they don't spin I don't want them to spin so from the back I'll put a nail in this way too and that'll stop the stop these from spinning if the glue ever lets go and, and these shrink up Should be nice. Should should look nice in the cabin. Okay. This is gonna be tough. So drove in enough. This, these are the ones to stop this from spinning. In enough to uh, cover with a little bit of wood filler. It should be fine. Same with these side ones. These are big three and a half inch nails. They're they're driven in down the ladder rung. So I drove them in, used the punch, and I'll just put a bit of wood filler over. So you won't even be able to see the nail. Chili one. Okay, so today I'm just gonna do a final sanding on the ladder here. Probably definitely use a 120. One twenties. And a bunch of one twenties here. Oh, that's two twenties. That's one twenty. And when we get this done, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll use some uh, Tyvek there, some house wrap or something, and wrap it up. And we'll get it on the trailer, and we'll get it brought to the cabin. All right.
think that should do for the sanding. So you guys might be wondering where I got the uh, where I got the gear for for uh, making log furniture. This is the two inch uh, two inch bell. These ones were uh, one inch. I uh, this is the one inch one. What I use for here. The two inch I never used much. I used it when I was uh, when I was gonna make a bed frame there. But usually the one inch is uh, good for this stuff. But uh, I don't know, four or five years ago I, I was going to attempt, I actually attempted to start a little log furniture company. So that's where I, that's why I've got all this gear. And well, it just never worked out. I mean, I probably got, I don't know, six or seven hours into this little ladder right now. Probably about three, three hours of sanding alone, three or four hours of sanding and peeling and I mean the time it takes to make something and then what you're gonna sell it for is just not it wasn't profitable I mean I, I have to have supplies too not counting my time I have to have all this sandpaper and stuff and, and varnish and, and all that stuff glue and stuff so I mean it, was, it wasn't profitable like I would have to sell this ladder for like 200 bucks just to make a little bit of profit. You know what I mean? So I mean, who's gonna who's gonna spend 200 bucks on on something like this? Now I did make a few things when I was doing it. I, I you know I, I made mostly small stuff. Like I have this uh, I have this uh, coat rack that I made. This one is going to the cabin today too. I made this about four years ago and it's just been sitting sitting in my shed ever since. So that one's going to the cabin today. Uh, you know, I, I started a bed frame. I made, I made uh, some chairs for my photographer cousin. Uh, she was, she used them in some photo shoots and stuff. I made a vanity for my daughter, a little log vanity. You know, I made small stuff like that. Some dog, dog uh, dishes, some dog stands for their for their bowls and stuff. Uh, dog beds. I made some Christmas reindeers. You know, I made a bunch of bunch of small stuff, but I, I it just wasn't financially viable. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't I couldn't make a go of it in in a small rural rural area. But you know, now that I'm trying to make the cabin look better, now that it's pretty much functional, you know, I can pretty much stay there now whenever I want. Now I just wanna I just wanna make little improvements like this. So I'm gonna take the old two x four ladder out, put in this nice log ladder, take this coat rack down. I don't know if it'll stay. I might it might kind of take up some room, so I don't know if it'll stay. I might just make a log one that goes on the wall with the pins. So I might take that out again, I don't know. But I can hang my stuff on there. If it's wet outside, I can hang, I can move this coat rack beside the stove whatever I want and a big project I want to do with the cabin is I want to make a nice big um, live edge kitchen table kind of thing you know I have a big log out there huge log it's been sitting there for a few years now so it's nice and dry I'm gonna take it to the mill and get it cut in two inch slabs then I'll use that to make a tabletop and we'll see how we'll make the legs and stuff but that's definitely a project I want to get done as well probably this summer but yeah, we'll get this stuff uh, loaded on the trailer and we'll head to the cabin.
Yeah, buddy. Sweet. I like it. I also brought my coat rack. It's pretty nice. Soaking wet. I didn't wrap this. I had, I had the ladder wrapped in Tyvek, some house wrap. I didn't wrap the coat rack. I just threw it on top. So of course it was covered in snow. That's all right. That'll dry up. Definitely looks a little more uh, with the new floor and stuff. Looks a little more, I don't know, rustic. A little more log homish. I don't know if that's a word, but now I've got some tongue and groove lift out there. What I'm thinking about doing is uh, I might build a little um, smoker, like a little. Uh, uh, wood fired smoker put a couple racks in there for, for doing uh, jerky and stuff I'd like to be able to build it just big enough to sit over my fire pit up there but I don't know if I can do that or not I might need like a cinder block base and then have the have the little smoker sitting on top with a couple shelves in there I don't know I don't really know what I'm doing with that stuff I've never I've never really smoked meat and stuff before so and we have a lot of soft wood around here, so I don't know how it will work out, but I don't know if maybe I can uh, figure something out with that, but with that spare lumber, I want to get it used up. I don't want it to sit there and just get wet and moldy or whatever, but I want to get it used up, so I'm thinking about building a little smoker. That might be a project in the next few weeks, actually. Plus, I should have my moose license this year, so that would be awesome for smoking uh, moose meat, you know, making moose jerky and stuff in, in the fall. That'd be awesome. I had a few comments uh, last video, not last video, but the video I built the floor. I did the floor. And I was storing the wood like this on the uh, trailer, so it was flimsy on the back. I had a few comments, people said I should stack it this way. Now I did think about that, and I actually tried it uh, in my driveway when I was loading the wood. I tried it, but I was afraid that this bouncing like this or obviously you wouldn't stack it on the on the tongue you'd stack it on the groove if you were to stack it vertical like that but i was afraid this was going to squat up eh pushing down on the trailer and bouncing all the way down here i was afraid this was going to squat up and maybe give me grief fitting together you know so if anything if if this dented up then i would have had trouble with all the all the tongues you know what i mean fitting in there so that's why I had a few comments. I'm sure lots of people thought it and didn't comment, but some people commented and asked why I didn't do that. So I just wanted to explain that's why I didn't do it. I didn't want to damage the uh, groove and then, you know, have lots of trouble having to get it together down here. But anyway, I hope you liked the little project here. Let me know if you want to see more projects. I'm going to make, make a table. Like I said, that's going to be a big project for me. Uh, if you want to, if you want to watch, I'll, I'll definitely take you guys along. Again, a, a smoker, something I want to build out of that lumber that's left from the floor. Uh, I have the outhouse that's uh, going to be built as soon as the snow is gone. I already have the lumber for that, most of the lumber. And uh, yeah, lots of stuff to do here yet. And right now I've got lots of time, lots of time. You know, uh, work is probably going to be really late starting this year, so. I might as well be here and, and, and taking care of projects, you know. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.